welcome back to the vlogs. My name is Sarah Ju and this is What's Up With You. So today on the vlog, we're going through Malaysia. I'll be showing you my view. It's really nice. It's there, right? Oh, it's so nice. It's today. And now I'm with my uncle who is our tour guide today. Say hi. Hi. And where are you taking us right now? I'm good to send you all to Sabaya town. It was a, a new town, a residential area. Yeah, go to build a we don't want to hear from residential area. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I'm going to bring it for breakfast, a good, decent, religious In Semenya. Yeah. Breakfast in Semenya. Yeah. And we also have my mom riding in the car. going to do is pick up my little cousin. Her name is Elizabeth because every, oh, everyone, everyone in Malaysia cannot say her name. <laughs> so they call her Elsa. And then after that we are getting breakfast. So follow me along. Can you restart? How, how are you packing for Ipo three days, two nights? Okay, three days, two nights. Normally, I will. Uh, you see, one day I will uh, change twice. Uh, two, I mean, one time. So, the, in the beginning, I take one. Then, when I reach Ipo, I change. And, and After three hours? Of course. You're sweating. You're sweating, you know? <laughs> so smelly. You need to change. Oh my gosh. I can't imagine if anybody don't change. <laughs> It's so smelly, it's so sweat. It's so oh my god, humidity. sweaty. <laughs> and then the next one, uh, I mean, after the, the next day, morning, I will change to a new clothes. <laughs> then in the afternoon, or in the uh, afternoon, I mean, evening, maybe, when awesome. I have the time to bath, I will change, quickly change to another, another, yeah, another, another clean, set. Yeah. yeah. So then, much. then at night, at night, I will change to my pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I need another two, two pajamas. Sick, sick. You're packing two pajamas for three yeah, days, two then nights. Again, I have to pack one, one uh, extra set in case rain. Then I have to change again. Three pajamas for two no. nights? Outfit. Outfit. So how many outfits in total? As I say, one day, two sets. <laughs> <laughs> Plus outfit. pajamas. So I have to pack six. It's so six pairs, eh? Six so outfits, yeah. two pajamas, one emergency. Yes. So basically, no, ten outfits. Of the emergency oh, crazy. Set. So it's six. When, I, when you take picture, it will be very nice. That affects the show. Wait, so so what do you use on your hair? Shampoo? Uh, only shampoo. And I then, don't use conditioner. Mm. Because by the time the conditioner is taken off, it will slip. <laughs> <laughs> he will slip off before he catches my hair. <laughs> <laughs> no hair, not enough hair to condition it. <laughs> My little cousin. Say hi. Hi. Introduce yourself. No. no. <laughs> okay. So right now we are going to breakfast. The same place I showed you guys before. Um, like like the food court, the hawker, hawker center. Let me show you. I'm sorry, I was in a rush and I was really hungry, so that's all the food I have to show you. Um, it used to be one time mean, I'll put in a photo, but that's what it looks like now. And we also got um, chicken, chicken rice. Elizabeth ate one time mean as well, chassis one time mean. 
and they're eating me, hugging me, all this other good stuff. Um, I'm drinking Bali ice. If you see my other videos, this is barley with sugar and ice. Um, it's pretty hot in here, if you've ever wondered what it feels like. Um, but there's like sand circling and it's not that bad. So in front of me, this is kaya bread with, oh no, it's bread with kaya and butter. Um, and kaya is like made out of brown sugar. What else is kaya made out of? Coconut milk? It's basically coconut chip. And so Elizabeth is going to show us how it's done. Good. Out of five, how would you rate it? Five being the best. Three out of five. Wow. Not very good, though. My turn. Three out of five. Because the bread is not very good, right? Yeah, the bread is pretty sad. It's like whole grain. Meh. But the kaya is so good. I'm gonna show you some advertising. So right over there is the bread that we were just eating, the kind of sad bread. And how they market it is, like the name is called One Not Enough. Basically means like, once you take one, you want more. So just having one is not enough. So this is like the kind of marketing in Malaysia. One not enough. So they use a lot of like slang to sell things to people. Right now we are about to enter the two Ring it 10 cents. Is that the two ring it 10 cents eco shop? So, in our money, how much is that, mom? 70 cents. 70 cents. So, this is the 70 cent store instead of two dollar store. Also, why 210? So wh where do you usually go when you go into a two dollar store? Actually, we have to find it. Oh my gosh, so cute! What's your name? Oh, go. You want to get? It's huge. Yeah. How would you put that in your? How would you put that in your? Okay, let's see. Oh my goodness, so cute. It's cute. You want? I want. Let's get matching ones. So my uncle is claiming that people who have this certain line in their arm, uh, I'll do a close-up picture, are from like the Han. Han or Han? Han. Han. H-A-N? Yes. So H-A-N Han line, because he has it, and his daughter has it. And I guess I have it. Mommy, do you have it? Elizabeth said I do. How can we all just have one line? How does that make sense? When we went to Taiwan, when we traveled to Taiwan, uh, to the Taiwan Museum in Taipei City, the tour guide the, uh, told us that if you are from the Hans people, I mean, if your ancestors are from the Hans, your arm will have a line like this. If not, then you, are, you, don't, you don't belong to this kind. So the Taiwanese tour guide yeah, told you this. this is what he said. So apparently that's how he thinks that we're the Han race because he also said that he has looked at Indian people's arms, Malay people's arms and they don't have. And I'm like, okay, let's see. If you guys know any scientific facts about this, let me know. If you yourself believe in the same thing, let me know. And if you think this is a lie, let me know in the comments below. Another piece of advertising, Nando's, which we have in Canada. Instead of, you know, I don't know what their normal catchphrase is, it says, for you, friend, friend, prize. So that just means like, they're gonna give you a discount look, and that's how they, that's how they sell it. For you, friend, friend, prize. Like, can you imagine if they put that in Canada? People would be so confused. Let's go to the information counter. Another part of the shopping mall is that there is like, a canal within it and so you can take a boat ride through the mall 
and it's called the Mines Shopping Center. Have you been on the boat ride before? No. Me either. Do you want to? Um, maybe. You know what would be better if you can take a boat ride, like yeah. an Epo or something, and yeah. find something cool? Yeah. 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 <laughs> What spirit? What energy? Whoa. So we were so close to Ikea, like two minutes away, and then we took the wrong turn and it's 20 minutes away. So we are going home. So sad. We hate the road system here. Elizabeth, what's your reaction to having to drive so long? What were you doing just now? What were you doing just now? And the restaurant that we want to go to is closed. Uncle James is the best tour guide. Thank you. When you're 10, how will you feel? Mm, nothing because I'm now 10. <laughs> I feel. You feel you're not 10. What does that mean? What's the difference between 9 years old and 10 years old? At 9 years old, you are not so uh, stressed. Because at 10 years old, you have to learn more. Learn more like what? Mm, 9 years old, they, they only have eight subjects. Ten years old, we have uh, thirteen subjects. Wow. So we have to learn more and more. Wow. When you're stressed, what do you do to relieve stress? Mm, maybe sometimes me and my friends will go out to play. Or they will come in my home and we'll play together. Oh, that's nice. Oh, my mom's inside. Yeah. <sighs> We look for you and you are right here. So we came to this coffee shop for lunch. Oh, thank you so much. Door service, is it? Come in, come in. Thank you. You work here, your is it? Your green son here. Your mother went there, not there. No wonder. So I'm eating a siumai from this cafe. It's really interesting. This coffee shop has like, like spaghetti with salad. Yeah. The spaghetti oh, yeah. is with chicken and it's pretty good. It tastes like a lot of ketchup. I like that. And mommy, you're eating curry meat. How is it? Spicy. It's good. It's different from the other store. The other store, a lot of coconut milk. This one is lighter, but a lot of, uh, they put a bit more chili. More chili. And then I found that the, the spices did. They make it a bit burn, so you have the kind of smell. What's this? My name. Your name. So what is it? This is a super hair styling gem. Can you sell it to me? Do a, a commercial. <laughs> wow. <laughs> She's eating ice cream right now. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. It's called a unicorn and it's so pretty. Wow, well, eat it. What does it taste like? I feel like it will taste like bubble gum. Or bubble gum. It tastes like candy. Mm. Because it has candy. Mm, a lot of sugar. I don't know if this was a good idea. So while Elizabeth enjoys her ice cream, oh I forgot to speak in English. So while Elizabeth eats her second ice cream, I get to eat green tea, no sugar, no milk, no fun. Because every single ice cream here has, you know, lactose has susu which is milk, so this is my life. So now we are in my uncle's house and he offered me this pudding, right? So as a precaution, I was like, got susu or not? So then he looked at the back of the package and in these little, little pudding cups, 
Usually in Canada, no no susu, so no milk. But this one, milk powder. So, look. Terrible. Oh, no, no, okay. So it says, yeah, fruit juice, milk no, powder. So terrible. They want to kill me. So that means I can eat nothing in Malaysia except for fresh fruit. Oh, my life is so hot. I want durian. So I'm watching Transformation Church Subaru while. I work out on this little elliptical. Yes, let's get it. Hey guys, so I am back at the house and right now I'm about to eat my dinner. So this is what it looks like. I know, not very Malaysian, but just two fried eggs and some broccoli and I'm eating it actually dry because a lot of Malaysian food has a lot of like sauce, sodium, uh, soya sauce, I like that and for the past, oh my gosh, I just got oil on myself for the past few days, I noticed I felt like bloated and like my skin felt like tight and I know that I have water retention because my ankles are, it's hard to see, so swollen like usually you can see all the bones and stuff but now it's like bulbous look at that ankle so uh so yeah that's what i'm dealing with so uh, i'm trying not to eat too much sodium right now because sodium you know increases water retention um and i'm trying to yeah just eat better and normally i don't even the also the another thing i noticed is because i was um I was noticing that I felt bigger but I was like I'm eating less and I'm eating pretty good meals and I'm working out every single day like every single day at least 30 minutes if not more of strenuous activity so I know that by all accounts I should be losing weight but yet I feel bigger and then I realized it was water retention because I just feel it and water retention also if you press on your skin and if you're holding a lot of water, your skin will be a different color, right? So when you press it, it will leave like a white indentation. So I will show you. Let me see if I can show you. So if I take my finger, right, and I push here, you see that white mark that is left? It's because there is so much water that it's no longer just my skin and muscle. It's like there's a water layer. So that's why the white mark can be seen like that. So... Um, I mean, it's not worrying, it's just annoying because I, I know this is part of travel because every time I travel a lot, I, my sister and I always we blow up and then um, because of all the food, you know, a lot of food in uh, Malaysia has a lot of so sodium, a lot of sugar because it's not regulated the same way as Canada, right? So that's why all the salt. So it's quite uncomfortable, I got to say. Like, it feels, my body feels tight. I feel like, like this water just wants to burst. Um, it makes it kind of hard to work out as well. It's like the weirdest feeling. But yeah, so now I'm going to eat my dry dinner and watch some Netflix documentaries. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope you enjoyed um, this accent all day. It was kind of hard to to keep it up, honestly, because I feel like... I feel like, let me know if you guys understand. I feel like when I put on an accent or talk in a different language, it's like a different... A different part of me like it's not totally Sarah like Sarah with a Canadian accent is Sarah and then Sarah who speaks French is a different Sarah and then Sarah who speaks um, with a um, you know Singlish Malay English accent is also quite different and it's I don't know it's, it's fun but it's also like you have to think about what you are saying and what to stress and what not to stress so yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I, th I hope you thought it was interesting. Let me know if you want me to do more videos in the Malay accent. I probably will while I'm here because why not? It's like immersion. Might as well take advantage of that. So I will probably make more videos. So yeah, if you like this, like, comment down below. Um, anything you want, honestly. what Whatever you are watching, what you're into, any documentary recommendations, let me know. And also what I should do with about this water retention. Um, I searched up online already steps to reduce but honestly I think it's just like time I guess for my body to get used to it Ugh, but it's so annoying so yeah love you guys very much subscribe for more content 
and I will see you in the next one. Love God, love yourself, love others. Bye!